Hey everyone, welcome to the Solid Tutorials YouTube channel. In today's video, we're diving into a complete step-by-step -step guide for editing with Wondershare Filmora 14. Whether you're a beginner or more advanced, this full course covers everything you need to know from A to Z. We'll go over all the features and tools for professional video editing, and I'll share some advanced tips, tricks, and techniques to help you get the most out of Filmora 14. We've really gone deep in this tutorial, you won't believe how detailed we've gotten. From AI power tools to all the other editing features, we'll walk you through everything in a simple, easy to follow way. This course is broken down into 20 chapters, so you'll get a comprehensive understanding of the software. Let's jump straight into chapter 20. This is the final video of the course. In this chapter I'll share 20 editing mistakes that beginners often make in Filmora 14, and how you can avoid them to create better videos. Mistake number one, using the wrong aspect ratio. If you start editing in the wrong ratio, your video may look stretched or cropped after export. Choose 16 by nine for YouTube and nine by 16 for Reels or TikTok. Mistake number two, forgetting to preview before exporting. Always watch your full timeline before you export. You might catch a missing cut. Wrong title, or silent audio section that you didn't notice during editing. Mistake number three. Audio is too loud or too low. If your background music is louder than your voiceover. Welcome. In this episode, I'm going to explore how to use templates. Show you the top if your background music is louder than your voiceover, the viewer won't understand anything. Balance your audio properly from the audio panel. Mistake number four. No transitions between clips. When you cut from one clip to another without any transition, the result looks unpolished. Adding even a simple fade or dissolve can make your video flow better. Mistake number five, using too many effects. It's tempting to add lots of effects, but too many can make your video look chaotic. Stick to one to two effects that match your content. Mistake number six, not locking tracks while moving clips. When you move a clip and other elements shift out of place, it's often because you didn't lock the other tracks. Always lock the layers you don't want to move. Mistake number six, not renaming your imported media files. If you leave files as default names like video 001, it becomes confusing in the timeline. Rename clips for better workflow. Mistake number seven, not using markers. Markers help you plan your edit, sync music or time your cuts. Press M to add a marker at any point in the timeline. Mistake number eight, using low quality images or videos. If your media is blurry or pixelated, it brings down the whole video quality. Always use HD or 4K visuals when possible. Mistake number nine, not matching the frame rate. Different frame rates in the same project can cause stutters or playback issues. Keep all clips at the same frame rate as your timeline. Mistake number 10. Not trimming the start and end of clips. Most clips have a few seconds of unwanted footage at the start or end. Cut them off for a clean opening and closing. Mistake number 11. Ignoring audio fades. Sudden cuts in music or sound can feel jarring to the viewer. Add fade in and fade out for a smoother audio transition. Mistake number 12. Titles place too low or too high. If text goes outside the safe area, it may get cut off on some screens. Mistake number 13. Skipping color correction. Without basic color grading your video might look flat and dull. Even small changes to brightness, contrast, and saturation can improve the look. 
Mistake number 14. No background music or poor music choice. Background music adds life to your video. Choose music that fits the mood and keep its volume lower than the voice or dialogue. Mistake number 15. Not using keyframes. Keyframes help animate objects, adjust opacity, zoom, or move text. Skipping keyframes makes your video feel static and boring. Mistake number 15. Not checking playback resolution while editing. If your preview is laggy, lower the preview quality, not the final video resolution. This helps with smoother editing. Mistake number 16. Using default text styles without changes. If you use default titles without any color, size, or font changes, your video looks generic. Customize your text to match your brand or theme. Mistake number 17. Overusing slow motion or speed ramp. Speed effects are useful in small moments. Using them everywhere can confuse or annoy viewers. Mistake number 18. Leaving auto ripple turned on accidentally. If auto ripple is on, moving one clip can shift everything else. Turn it off from the toolbar if you want to move clips without affecting others. Mistake number 19. Gaps between clips. Empty spaces on the timeline can create black screens during playback. Always zoom in and remove small gaps between clips. Mistake number 20. Not saving backups of your project. If your system crashes or the file corrupts, you can lose all your work. Always save a copy of your project and final export. That's it. These were the 20 editing mistakes you should avoid in Filmora 14. Congratulations on finishing the full Filmora 14 course. We've covered everything from scratch, from basic tools and panels, all the way to advanced editing techniques. Each topic was explained step by step, with clear examples. Just remember, learning is one part, but regular practice is what makes you better. You can always come back and watch any part of this course again, anytime, here on Sali Tutorials. Completely free. Also, don't forget to share this course with your friends and loved ones, so they can also learn and benefit from it just like you did. Stay tuned for more tutorials.